Okay. So um, in terms of setting up uh, stop losses, uh, the first thing to keep in mind is uh, uh, the days to expiration, okay? Uh, that's why I choose um, something that's around 30 days or a little bit longer because uh, it gives you time for you to catch up because we've had relief rallies uh, pretty much every other week. And um, I'm sure it has been uh, messing up with uh, your uh, portfolio. It's been messing up my portfolio. Um, and so every time it messes it up, I'm like, oh, I should have done the 30 DTE. And oftentimes uh, when, it's, when I go in shorter and it doesn't go my way, um, the theta just starts eating up uh, the extrinsic value, okay? So this is the, the time value that's added to the stock price, okay? And so, you know, you choose a stock price, let's say, you know, uh, 240, but Netflix drops to like 220. So not only do you lose, you know, that $20 drop, uh, you also lose the theta on it. And because the trajectory is negative, uh, in a sense, you lose extra theta, okay? Uh, can't explain it right now, it's uh, too complicated. Uh, you can definitely go under the education tab and uh, go through the Greeks uh, to get deeper into it. But suffice it to say um, that theta eats it up, okay? So that's why you wanna do uh, more than 30 days. If you can do 45 days, I mean, I haven't been calling out uh, 45 to 60 days, mainly because uh, we are in a choppy market, number one. Number two, it gets really expensive for people. Even for me, it gets a little too expensive. And I can't, um, you know, average down, average up, I can't. Um, I don't have the flexibility when I do it too far out because it's majority uh, extrinsic value, like value that's not part of the stock. And it's a smaller portion of the intrinsic value, which is the price of the stock, all right? So uh, let me walk you through a couple of things, okay? Um, even though I may call it out, uh, do uh, you know, your own research, okay? Do your own due diligence, all right? And there are several ways to go about it. And uh, I want you to use the three, the three channel um, chart in order to do that. So the first thing you wanna be able to do is, all right, so I'm looking at Netflix, all right? Where are we in this, okay? So if you look at the weekly, look at the overall general trajectory, all right? So even when we look at the Fibonacci clouds, this is like really, really, really bad. So anything that looks like this, you don't wanna get into it, okay? If you're gonna get into something, uh, that's not pretty, that's not pretty, okay? Uh, this is slowly coming up out of it and you see the ribbons uh, flipping, uh, it's Qualcomm. That's more of the chips bill. That's not pretty, nope. So as you can see, a lot of the stocks are is just not pretty, okay? This one, however, seems to be fairly pretty even though I'm uh, negative on it. But not knowing that, um, you know, I'm obviously I'm biased against uh, this Chilean uh, company, mainly because it's Chilean. But if you were to look at this, right, um, let's take a look at the weekly. And on the weekly, I have the Strat Assistant on, okay? Um, go to, so if you want to, uh, come on. If you want to take advantage of the, where is it? Where is it? 
education. Here we go. All right. So let me move this over right over here. Okay. So if you want to uh, look into the strat assistant, then I think you should, right? Uh, let's kind of make a uh, deal, shall we? Don't get into any more uh, trades until you have learned uh, the strat assistant. And that is strat system, okay? Uh, don't get into any more uh, trades until you learn strat system right here. And you've watched uh, all the videos on Indicator Pro right there. Okay, so you got this weekend to do it. Uh, if you don't get to finish it, don't trade. All right, so here's the strat system. Um, you have the strat candles um, that'll give you a better idea. And uh, Sarah's uh, strat sniper, she's really good with uh, this stuff. So listen to her. Um, get the most that you can out of it. Uh, you would probably get more than uh, I did or get stuff that I did not get, okay? But what I like about Strat System is um, I would first look at the weekly and it says it's a bullish reverse Strat, okay? So already, there are several things to keep in mind, all right? So we are going to go, let's pretend, okay? We're gonna go bullish on it. So what we wanna do is basically here, the previous week, it's 79.03, okay? And then this week it ended at horizontal. Well, the high for this week was uh, 9504, that's, that's a pretty wide range. So when you choose that, this is now your auto range, okay? If the price of the stock uh, goes above this and you are on a put, you're getting out, okay? There's no point in holding it. Uh, even if you have still like 25 days to go, can it turn around? Yes, but just get out, okay? Same thing over here. Okay, if you went, yeah, right there. If you went on a call because the Fibonacci clouds is unfurled, it's like different shades of green like this, and it looks pretty. As a matter of fact, it looks pretty from here. As a matter of fact, uh, if you chose SQM um, from here when it started unfurling and you hold it basically, what? for a whole year, uh, you would have gone July. No, you would not have, you probably would have gotten somewhere around here, okay? So from November to uh, July, you would have gone from $31 all the way to $90. That's a 300% uh, increase, okay? So one of the things that you can do safely when it's unfurled like this is that you can play, because it's weekly, you can play it out like a year in advance and just basically don't touch it, okay? So that's one of the ways to uh, be able to uh, play it and not day trade, okay? So anyway, having said that, all right, let's say we are uh, pretty much uh, day trading or swing trading, okay? Uh, we have chosen the uh, bottom, uh, uh, range and then the upper range right there. Okay, now we're going to look at the daily. Okay, so for the daily right there, we're going to open this up. And this is the daily so far. Okay, so we got the upper range and bottom range. It's kind of wide. All right, so and by the way, Laval, you know, these tools are already set, you know, back in the old days, <laughs> when I say old days, really, uh, even two years ago, you had to do all of this manually, okay? Trading view actually allows you to do it automatically. So every, every single day, this thing gets updated, right? So how easy is this? I mean, you're saving a lot of time, like 15 minutes or, or more when you do something like this, all right? 
So now at this juncture, you can actually um, make it even smaller. We're looking at, what's the price? 95 and somewhere in the 70s. I guess, if, yeah, it falls like right here. It actually falls right there, which is great, okay? So if you wanna be able to trade it on a daily basis, now we can take a look at this and say, all right, here's the Fibonacci cloud, okay? This level right here is key. Every time you see a 618 is key, okay? That ratio of 618, uh, is called the, um, the ratio of phi. It is the most significant number. Uh, it's significant here, but it's too far away. So the closest one is here, okay? And it's looking like it went up and it consolidated, okay? Um, pretty much uh, the volume was normal, but it kept on consolidating. And then finally uh, in the, past week it started to rise up again. Uh, volume is still normal, okay? So um, it's not very convincing, okay? Uh, but nevertheless, looking at other things right here, um, this is what we see. At the 382 mark, we see uh, 9306, okay? So now this is what you can do you can move this over to 9306 for next week, okay? And your target is gonna be anywhere between, between 101 and 108, okay? So as long as it keeps on piercing through here, let's say it does go up, right? <clears throat> of course we have uh, FOMC, the Fed rate next week and you know a whole lot of stuff that can blow up, but Outside of that, after this July, um, the, the FOMC is not meeting for like, I think three months. So uh, in that sense, it's all clear. <clears throat> so as long as it's breaking through this area and it keeps on going up, okay? You hold on to it until it shows weakness and it starts dropping. So if it starts dropping, this is your, you know, um, stop limit right there, okay? So 618 is key for your take profit, okay? So um, yeah, let's do it this way. Um, now I'm getting ahead, all right? So this is your target. This is where you're gonna get in, all right? The price ended at 90.62. On Monday, if it crosses over 93.06, this is a live um, trade. You're able to jump in to it. Okay, uh, your stop loss is, let's see, you don't wanna go all the way to 70. So let's go back to about two days worth, 86.52, okay? So you preset in advance um, your stop loss and you're saying, okay, if I, uh, get into this call trade right here, okay? Uh, past 93 and I get a 93 call. When the price drops to 86.52, uh, I'm gonna get out, okay? Now that could represent a 20% stop loss. It could represent a 30% stop loss. But if you want a specific price to get out, uh, that's one area where you can get out. Why? Because buyers have pegged that price right there, okay? That is, is it the closing price? No, that is the opening price, I believe. Uh, slightly uh, lower than the price. So definitely, uh, since we're using Heikenashi, uh, once we hit that number, um, we are getting out, okay? So now you have drawn your, um, your profit zone, which is here. You have drawn your entry, which is here. This is your trigger point, okay? So if you have a trigger point, how do you make sure that you get an alert? You go here, 
and click the plus sign, add the alert. So at 9501, um, it'll come in right here and tell you that you've been alerted, okay? Now, if you do get into this, okay, um, you can then set the alert over here, okay, 8640. And then you can set the alert there and say, okay, this is where I'm going to get out. So before you get into a trade, you're already deciding uh, what price I'm going to get out, uh, how much I'm willing to lose. So know how much you're, you are going to lose. This is your potential loss right here. Okay. So focus on how much you're going to lose. Don't focus on how much you're going to make. Okay. Because if your trade is right, okay. And uh, let's say we have a day. Okay. SQM could be a playable uh, call if the day is um, overall bullish. Okay, futures are bullish. Uh, there's a lot of good news that came through. Um, minerals and basic materials are back in, in, in favor. The talking heads are, are talking about it. And, you know, Rio Tinto, uh, Cliff, CLF, and uh, FCX, other uh, plays are coming in. This is a, also a lithium um mine. So uh, lithium tends to be very positive, obviously, because of EV. So every time there's a huge bullish talk about EV, you can go, ah, okay, SQM, I'm going to uh, play the, the side, um, the, benef the secondary benefit rather than actual autos, okay? And so you can come in here and pay attention to this, all right? Um, and you want to have at most um, four or five stocks. That's why I have this. So these are, this is uh, SPY, QQQ, UVXY. This is kind of like my barometer and thermometer right there. Okay. And then these are the four that I watched. So we made money on this. We made money on this. Uh, Tesla was my own personal trade, made money on that. Uh, Amazon, I did not uh, get in. Uh, I was just closing. I was using this to close uh, some of the stuff. And Apple, we got on. At least I made a uh, put call on it, right? So at most, you're watching it like this, okay? And those are the only ones you're going to watch, all right? Uh, don't try to watch too many. Just focus on the ones that you want to get into because, again, uh, you know your upper uh, entry, like the trigger point. Uh, you know the trigger point for a put. Uh, you know what your stop loss is. So if this is, if you're going to go put and the, um, here you go. So you call, here we go. All right. So if it breaks through here, Okay, and you call the put, right? This is your stop loss. If you called for, let's say it goes through here and it goes like this, then this is your stop loss, okay? And respect that, okay? As much as it hurts, respect that. Because if you do make the right call, then you can watch it go from uh, 93 all the way to uh, 102, which is $9 move, to 107, which is a uh, $14 move, okay? As opposed to 95, uh, 86, which is like a $9 move, okay? Now, this is like, this is the red line, okay? You don't go past this, okay? So set it firm. And nine out of 10 times, again, if you're using this and you're getting uh, the buy signal and at least six confirmations, uh, nine times, eight times out of 10, uh, you should be in the right uh, direction, okay? So this is on a daily basis. Now you got a game plan, voila. Now, we're looking at the 10 day, uh, I mean, sorry, the 10 minute 
uh, move. Oops. Okay. So we're looking at the 10 minute uh, move. Uh, this one was today, was not pretty. Okay. It just basically after it broke out, uh, it started going down. Okay. So that's not a good sign. Uh, let's do this. Um, if you want to use orb five, uh, you can go into the indicators and actually learn about orb, which is the, uh, what is the name of it? The uh, opening range, high and low. Okay. But let's use our um, entry for a second. Okay. So this is the 10 minute. And let's say we were Okay, so here we go. Uh, this was Thursday and we are going to, so candles look ugly, okay? So you wanna start using candles when you, once you know candle formation, okay? Until then, you can do this, All right? So this is what you got, okay? So 9.30, 9.40, 950, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30. So all ugly. So you're just watching this until 1040. So for 70 minutes, you've been um, watching this. Now, not constantly, okay? The reason we use 10 minute is again, uh, you're looking at other stuff, doing other stuff. And then every 10 minutes, you can come back and take a look or when you get the alert, you can set up an alert uh, where you can get a buy signal. So when you, uh, there is um, under the education tab, if you go to Indicator Pro, here is how to set up and uh, buy and sell alerts on Indicator Pro. Okay, so this will teach you how to set it up. All right. So what you can do is you can set up uh, one or the other. So if you're looking at the buy signal, uh, just set up buys. Otherwise you're gonna get buy, sell, buy, sell like constantly. So if you did set up a buy signal, this is what you would have gotten. A buy would have come in right here, okay? Now uh, go through the list of confirmations. You know, it does it break through blue, yellow, yes. Um, does a yellow crossover a blue? No. Is it above average volume? No. Uh, is there like a reversal candle? Yeah, this could serve as a reversal candle. Okay. But it's the very beginning. It's uh, from a, there was a cell um, candle here. Uh, the previous day it was, you know, going negative. Um, it's just not convincing. You, you just don't have the six uh, confirmations that you need, okay? So you're coming over here and you're looking at, okay, is it crossing the uh, blue and the yellow? Yes. Is there a golden cross? Yes. Volume, it's not there, okay? So now that you got the buy signal, but you got one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, this could serve as a reversal. You got five confirmations. You need six, okay? But you got five. You can wait for the next one. And there you have above average volume, okay? You got higher high, higher low. So this is risky, but you can uh, actually jump into this one because uh, this one represents the buy signal here. But let's say you want to play it safe. It's like, oh man, I've been burned before. I don't want to do that. There you go at 11 o'clock. So you've been watching now for an hour and a half. And finally, you have the ideal entry, okay? Um, you have been disciplined and you finally got the opening. You got the three white soldiers. Uh, you got the golden cross. You got slightly above average volume compared to uh, all the other stuff. I mean, look at how low it is. Look at how low it is. Uh, the down volume over here actually has been um, on, you know, 
I mean, the, the down price, the decrease in price actually has been a low volume. Let's even look at um, uh, VWAP, okay? So at this juncture, okay, the VWAP, yeah, it rises above VWAP. So you could have taken a risk right here, okay? And use the VWAP as one additional confirmation. But this is the by far the safest because you're getting confirmation. Does the orb confirm it? No, it does not. Okay. So um, you got the entry here. And so let's say um, you chose to enter this. Okay. And you entered at the top end right here okay so this is where you're entered okay now this is what's happening now there's a higher volume oh look at this it gives you a higher high higher low look at that okay now right there <clears throat> Uh, you get your first sell signal, okay? Now, from 89.20 to 89.66, it's, it's not much, okay? So um, the question is, do I hold on to this or do I cut it short? Uh, there are two ways to go about it. Number one, you can move your stop loss to break even, okay? So that way you make sure that you don't lose any money. Or um, there's this thing called the fib clouds again, okay? And when you look at the fib clouds, uh, notice how the candle is way above the three uh, unfurled clouds. And since it's way above there, you can actually hold and let the momentum carry you because oftentimes it'll, Take a rest, it'll make a, a bullish flag and then make a second run at it. Sometimes a third, fourth run, okay? Now you're taking a risk, okay? You can go negative if you do that, but that's the whole point of you know successful trading is taking a risk, okay? You took a risk over here by entering in and it could have gone down, but over here, even though you see a sell signal, again, um, look at it from the other perspective too. Okay, so if this was a new entry, would I enter this sell signal? Okay, it doesn't cross over the yellow, doesn't cross over the blue. Look at the volume. Okay, it's low volume. So there's a price um, easing on low volume. So that's not a confirmation at all. As a matter of fact, uh, you really have uh, zero confirmation to enter a put right there, all right? So flip it on the, on the other side and you go, would I enter this? And the answer to that is no, I'm not gonna enter that. So you know what? Keep the, uh, you know, your trade open for the call, okay? And sure enough, look at that. There's a buy signal. Don't worry about the purple, okay? Now you have another sell signal, okay? Now it's touching the, uh, uh, the first flag, okay? As long as it doesn't cross over. Oh, so you wanna talk about um, having another stop loss, a dynamic stop loss, it would be this right there, 89.40. So as long as, actually right there, 89.34, it is the bottom, of the Fibonacci clouds, okay? Now, Laval, I know we're going through um, material that I have not covered in, in the basics of training, but we're, think of this as, uh, you know, level 200, all right? So you can use now multiple um, tools to be able to uh, look and decide what you wanna do. And you make an educated guess uh, the best that you can, uh, educated guess, educated decision, all right? So this is your new uh, stop loss, okay? 
So it allows you to take some profit, but you're not going to let it go down below this. All right. Next one is kind of like a spindle top. Hey, there's a buy signal. Look at that. All right, let's uh, even look at the fib clouds. How are we doing? It's riding the fib clouds. Okay, boom. It's not touching 89.34. And boom, it breaks it. Okay, so right there, and well, actually, it quickly goes back up again. Okay, so if you're doing it manually, you may miss it. And if it goes right back up, uh, that's a good thing. Okay, as long as the body doesn't cross that, uh, you are still good. I would still take the risk. Okay, voila. So you're watching it, you're watching it. Okay, now it's broken through. Oh, wait. There is a doji and there's a buy. Okay, look at that. There's a buy, 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 all the way up to there, to 94.30. Okay, so um, it's easy to kind of look back in retrospect and kind of um, play, uh, you know, uh, Monday morning quarterback, as they say. Um, but you could have uh, also done this. You could have gotten out either here or here at a small profit, seen the doji right there, okay? Um, I believe you can set the um, alerts to also alert you on the doji. So whenever a doji hits, uh, where's doji, yep. So you can do doji uh, greater than zero. So whenever there's a doji that forms, okay, because uh, these are ideal. When you see this, you want to look at the next candle, okay? Once per bar. And we want to look at doji SQM, create. There you go. So this uh, alerts me both on my phone uh, as well as um, my desktop, okay? So you could have gotten out over here and then later in the afternoon at three o'clock, you could have gotten in here because actually more like right there because you got the golden cross, you got the doji, you got the increasing volume, okay? It was nice and, you know, quiet. And then all of a sudden it went boom, boom, okay? So you would have gotten in right there, okay? And you could have written it all the way up to the top, okay? So um, that's how you are able to day trade, okay? You can keep a, a tight, a, a tight stop loss by using the EMA clouds as um, as a moving target. Okay, you can use um, trailing stops as well, especially when it makes a big move like that. Uh, you can set up uh, um, a trailing stop. Okay. Um, or once you reach a certain point, uh, move up your stop loss to a point where it's a zero risk uh, stop loss. So that way, um, even if you get out, okay, and it'll kick you out many times, all right? Like you're gonna get kicked out right there. You're gonna get kicked out. But every time it kicks you out, you've made, you know, $5, $4, but you know what? You didn't lose anything. Okay, so that's one of the safer ways to play it. So you got stop limit, you got the EM, uh, the Fibonacci clouds uh, as a moving target. Um, and all of that is uh, supplemented by what uh, the ranges that you have created, uh, both in the daily as well as the weekly uh, chart. Okay, 
And so that way you'll know when to get in, when to get out, and you'll sense that, okay, it's time for me uh, to just cut this. Um, that's, yeah, that is a lot already. So questions. What, else, um, what do I need to clarify? Maybe I, there's something I went over too fast. Try your mic again. I think uh, for a brief moment, I heard you. Is it, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. There you go. Okay, good. I mean, I, I honestly, that was a really good explanation as far as um, everything that I've been missing out on. I feel like I've been missing out on. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> even with the the... the the stop loss, you said it was the 618 number. Well, the 618 is the magic number. Um, and well, I feel like- uh, That was a, the um, the profit uh, target. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, right. And then it was the, it was the, the, the number below it. That was the, um, the when yeah. we were mm -hmm. looking at. Okay, the point. So we set it based on the Fibonacci. Right. And then we set up our entry based upon. So this is our Fibonacci right here. This is our target. Uh, we created a stop loss right there. Now we got tighter than the Fibonacci based upon uh, the lower low end price of two days ago. Yeah. OK, so this is your range. This is when it becomes active. Okay. Now, when I say active, I mean, you, you still got to go to the, you know, uh, 10 minutes, right? Uh, you can't go by this. You have to go to the 10 minute and you still have to see this right there. Buy signal. Doji. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, this is the perfect entry right here. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, you know? But this is, you know, what needs to happen. And sometimes you'll watch a stock uh, for the whole day and it will not show up. So don't force it. If it, if it doesn't show up, don't force it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, somebody had said, um, you know, uh, as a trader, you have to choose one of two pains, either uh, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Choose. <laughs> That's definitely true. Yeah, choose one, okay? But you're going to have to choose. And my adage to that is uh, know in advance how much you're going to lose. Write it down. It's like, dang it, I'm going to lose $450 if this goes south. Yeah. Okay? I, mean, I think, <clears throat> like I've been telling you, I, I don't have a computer. So it's, and it's, Mm -hmm. My phone's broken. My tablet's broken. <laughs> <laughs> everything is, is, it's a struggle getting everything that I'm going to just get a computer because I'm going to need a computer because I, I need to be able to make, make my charts and everything like this to where it, it just, it fills in basically, or well, not where it fills in, where I can see everything. No, I don't. You can get a you can get a, a decent laptop for, at Walmart for like two ninety nine. Yeah, and then I I can make that back. And I bet you you lost more than two ninety nine. Oh, I most definitely definitely did um, with that. And I, like basically, I was trying. Now I know it was a losing trade too, and that's where I I was. I really messed up, but mm -hmm. um, like Tesla, that Tesla call you did, yeah, it was it's been ranging, and I I wasn't in a bad position until just recently, you know, the last two days, oh, and definitely lost that two ninety nine over the last two days, and that, and that's basically what I'm saying at this point. It's like it's not like. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> um, I'm just going with anything that's making me lose money is is that I can't see the good, the best stop loss point. And then when I should just be like, okay, that's it, I'm gonna call it. And it's because I, I feel like, I don't know. You said, can I do it now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh. here, here's the thing. Um, having the right, the best tools possible is an investment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what that's exactly why I joined the group. I was like, Yeah, I didn't know it. So, you know, uh, buy, buy oh. lots of, uh, you know, uh, ramen noodles and spaghetti and, uh, and red sauce. You know, eat, eat uh, spaghetti and ketchup if you have to. Um, <laughs> but you know, you got to make that investment. Yeah, definitely, and I and I see every time it comes out to be worth it because <clears throat> you you end up losing more than you know than you have to because you didn't take the time out for the investment in the first place. Yeah, exactly. And discipline is key. I mean, we've had people you know basically give up trading altogether because you know they were not. Uh, practicing the the pain of discipline you know they just yeah. they would just go all in and they would uh ang anger trade you know revenge trade and th that goes against everything I, you know that's the the number one thing that i teach and you know just people ignored it and the ones who ignored it they're no longer trading they just gave up yeah you know so uh hey every Loss is a lesson, you know. Um, yeah. Learn from it. You know, you already paid for a laptop with your with your Tesla loss. Um, <laughs> my recommendation actually is don't play Tesla until you you got a, a decent amount of capital because that'll yeah. Kill up. You know, it that, no, me. but I've yeah, been, I've been it did by Tesla. See, but uh, I mean, the best part about that though was I I, I was only. With stuff like that, I'm only doing like um, credit spreads and stuff like that because yeah, I can't afford a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, I cannot afford a Tesla place. <clears throat> Let me 